The alien attack nearly destroyed us. That must never be allowed to happen again. We need a new kind of soldier. One the enemy would never expect. One of the most exciting challenges on this movie was obviously the visual effects. Um, you know, you've got a massive challenge here. Ender's Game, I was really excited about that because uh, Digital Domain, which is a visual effects house, has an opportunity to do some uh, great um, VFX for this, uh, for this movie. The storyline is about uh, alien invasion and uh, how the human race is preparing for the next invasion. It started with a request, if you would be interested, to do a design for a movie that's playing 75 years in the future. And before my boss finished the sentence, I was saying, yep, we do it. When we uh, met with Audi, it was great to hear their expertise and the reasons why they do things. And they were able to work with us and give us some great ideas. We had a real collection of people on the movie who really understood visual effects in a, in a very powerful and dynamic way for a film of this scale. The car has to transport uh, Hurum Graf together with Ender. He's picking up Ender and taking him to the shuttle. So you connect Hurum Graf with that car. And also it represents the international fleet. So to have a future car, we had to film the actors in an Audi current car. And our job at Digital Domain was to replace that car with a digital car. It's a new procedure because there was not a physical uh, model, it was a digital model completely. We showed them the shots in the movie and what we need for it and how their car and their designs would be the best fit for this picture. So when you start with uh, building up a volume and technology features, we built up uh, a first version of a model which we planned to use to lay it over the A7. And uh, we saw then that the semantics of this car it doesn't really fit into the future. And the feedback we got was, yeah, the car is good, but it looks like it's got a V8 engine in it. And we were like, yes, that's exactly what we want to hear. Can we change it? And uh, the reaction was, yeah, you can change it, do something more futuristic. And so we had to, you know, keep to some of the boundaries of the original car, but we had total freedom on the exterior design. We had already sketches prepared for that kind of uh, direction of the design. So we started to build uh, uh, mono volume, which indicates a completely different world and it was really fun to design it because also it breaks away from today's cars on the street that uh, people are used to. The wheels have been the detail we've discussed with the guys over here the longest. Uh, now I'm very happy that we found that kind of direction to the wheel because it does look technical. It looks futuristic and it adds that certain touch to that very clean car with the detailing we are so proud of and it, it's adding to the character of the thing, yeah. Usually when we work in special effects, we're just usually thinking about the shot and what looks good in the shot. But working with Audi was great because we had to think a little bit more about the mechanics of the car because, you know, that's what they do is make cars. We make pretty pictures. It's a different way of thinking slightly than what we usually do. So I'm proud that the, uh, the combined work of Audi and the team came together and made something which uh, I think is going to be absolutely stunning. When you see the picture and you actually see the car, people will, be, uh, will get a real kick out of it. I think that once the colour changes, it's going to help. Yeah. For one thing, because right now it's yeah. punching out. I enjoyed working with the film crew. It was very exciting. They had the influence on our work. We had our influence on their work. And uh, I'm very proud of the result I've seen today. You know, you don't make a film on your own. And I had a phenomenal crew of people who really cared and, and, and really worked hard. We wanted to work with absolute professionals who have an understanding of what things could be like in the future. And we understand that Audi always do that with their designs and are always thinking about things that are going to be you know, better cars, um, safer cars, um, cars that are also aesthetically pleasing to people. It's a futuristic film. It shows that we are high-tech, that we are able to do something that fits into that high-tech world. We also have the slogan Vorsprung durch Technik which means that we're always a step ahead. We want progress. And in this movie, we have the chance to develop something for the future. And it had all the elements that we felt was right for this picture. And getting to know them and work with them, we know that we made the right decisions. So it's been a great partnership. 75 years in the future, that's about seven generations of cars from now on. And we are absolutely sure that we will be around in that time as well. 
The cars won't look like that, that's for sure, but they will look just as good.